On Saturday, May 30th, Elon Musk's SpaceX successfully launched two astronauts into space, becoming the first crewed orbital flight from American soil since 2011. Two, one, zero. Ignition. Liftoff of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA. Go SpaceX. Godspeed. Bottom dog. Even more significant is the first time that astronauts travel to orbit on a privately owned spacecraft. Previous space tourism stunts have either been suborbital or provided by the Russian government. Veteran NASA astronauts Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley lifted off from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida and less than a day later arrived at the International Space Station where they will remain for four months. Benkin and Hurley hitched a ride on a Dragon capsule launched by a Falcon 9 rocket. The pair was conveyed to the launch pad on Tesla manufactured electric cars. Outfitted in fashionable white and black space suits and equipped with a touchscreen operating system, the launch made history. It was a triumphant moment for Musk and his California-based company. But this isn't just a victory for one billionaire and one company. It's a culmination of a decades-long effort to transform space into a new frontier of entrepreneurship. Through the decades following the Apollo program in the 1960s, the U.S. saw a mini-boom of space entrepreneurs founding rocket companies. These efforts, however, were frequently met with resistance from policymakers and legacy industry. Most ended in failure. Determined, Musk founded SpaceX in 2003 with funds from his previously co-founded companies, including PayPal and Zip2. Later that year, he unofficially unveiled his company's early Falcon 1 rocket, the first privately developed liquid fuel launch vehicle to go into orbit around the Earth. In 2004, Congress passed legislation that helped clear a regulatory path for commercial launch companies. By 2006, NASA changed the way it did business through the Commercial Orbital Transportation Services Program. Rather than taking the lead on engineering, the space agency identified transportation capabilities and invited companies to bid on meeting them. SpaceX seized the opportunity, winning a contract with NASA in 2006 that provided it with $278 million to develop its Falcon 9 rocket. This rocket successfully launched for the first time in 2010. The company signed a separate $1.6 billion contract with the space agency to send cargo to the International Space Station, a contract it began fulfilling in 2012 when its Dragon capsule became the first private spacecraft to dock with the station. As the decade moved on, SpaceX began offering launch services to other commercial customers, such as telecommunications companies, at drastically lower prices than its competition. Success with cargo convinced NASA to embrace a market-driven approach to returning human spaceflight to American soil. Investors flocked. In 2014, NASA awarded contracts for crewed commercial space flights to two companies, Boeing and SpaceX. Combined, the two contracts are worth up to about $6.8 billion. NASA has not been completely hands-off in the development of these spacecraft, rather seeing them as a collaboration. This partnership, while tense at times, was codependent and mutually beneficial as demonstrated by the successful docking of the astronauts at the International Space Station. Next stop, the moon. As part of NASA's Artemis program, SpaceX has been selected as one of three companies developing human landers for astronauts to land on the moon safely. With Jeff Bezos founded Blue Origin as the second and Huntsville, Alabama based Dianetics the third. For SpaceX, landing on the moon will be accomplished with its still in development Starship, the spacecraft the company also wants to use to eventually send astronauts to Mars.